Hi guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today is the first day of Croctober. That means every Wednesday during the month of October, I'm sharing one of my family's favorite crock pot or slow cooker recipes. So stay tuned. First up, I'm sharing a creamy, cheesy cowboy casserole. This is definitely one of my husband's favorites, but the whole family loves it. It's full of meat and potatoes. Here's what you're going to need. About one pound of ground beef, or you could use turkey. One pound of potatoes. I'm using baby red potatoes, but you could even use tater tots or shredded hash browns. Next, you're going to want a can or box of condensed cream of mushroom soup one can of diced tomatoes in their juice, one can of corn drained, one can of kidney beans also drained, and I'm also going to use about half of this onion and I'm going to chop it up. I'm also using one teaspoon of granulated garlic and salt and pepper to taste. And lastly, don't forget the cheese. I'm using about one to two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. In a pan over medium heat, I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil and start browning my meat. Now traditionally, you would make a cowboy casserole in the oven, but I really like the crock pot version because in the morning, I can easily brown up my meat, chop up my veggies, and throw everything in the slow cooker. That way, I can go about my day, run my errands, and when I get home, the casserole is done. When my meat is fully cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and drain the excess oil and then get it into my crock pot, which I've sprayed with nonstick spray. Now I've set up my cutting board right next to my crock pot so I can easily chop and dump everything in as I go. First up, I'm going to slice my potatoes. Now if you don't have a mandolin slicer, you could use a regular knife, no problem. But if you do have a mandolin slicer, be careful, those guys are sharp. I'm cutting these really nice and thin so that they cook quickly. Once all of my potatoes are sliced, I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything into the crock pot and start on my onion. I'm just gonna use about half of this onion. If you really like onion, you could use the whole thing. It's totally up to you. But I'm just gonna go ahead and give my onion a rough chop and then toss it right into the crock pot. Next, I'm going to add my entire 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes with their juice. Then I'm going to add my drained corn and my drained kidney beans. Next, I'm going to add our condensed cream of mushroom soup. Now you can use any brand you prefer. I'm just using the one from the box because it's gluten-free. Next, I'm adding one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, and one teaspoon of granulated garlic. If you like your food spicy, you could definitely add some red pepper flakes or some hot sauce. That would be delicious. Now that we have all of our ingredients in the crock pot, just give it a big stir. Put the lid on and set it and forget it. You can cook this on low for about seven to eight hours, but I'm gonna cook mine on high for about four and a half hours or until the potatoes are softened. About 30 minutes before I wanna serve it, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste for salt and pepper. I ended up adding a little bit more of each and then I just stirred it up. And now it's time for the cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle on all of my shredded cheddar for some cheesy goodness. And I'm also going to snip a few green onions on top of my casserole. The green onions really add a bright, fresh flavor to our dish. Next, I'm going to replace the lid and wait for the cheese to melt. This usually takes about 10 minutes or so. When the cheese is melted, we can dig in and it smells so good in here. This dinner reminds me of a cross between a hearty stew and some tin foil dinner packets that you might remember from your camping days. I can definitely see why they call it a cowboy casserole. Yum, it is so good. I hope you guys love it. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, please hit that bell notification. That way you know every time I upload a video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.